uh, throughout the entire world to all the ministering brethren uh, that are scattered throughout the various countries. Uh, we do always greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus and to the saints in the various countries as well as here in the United States. Uh, we always are very, very thankful uh, for an occasion to be in the house of God for no other reason but to hear the word of God. Is that right? And not just to hear it because we need to be doers of the same. Uh, let us always be mindful, my God, that this, the Worldwide Truth of God radio and television program, is on the air for the edification of men and women everywhere. Uh, its purpose is to open your eyes to the truth of God's word, that you may get yourself ready for eternity. Is that right? Uh, we're living in a time now which is, uh, as we all know, there's a pandemic. Uh, it has not wound down fully yet. It's still here in the land and uh, across the world. And uh, many people have died because of it. Is that right? Uh, we're so glad that God has spared us to be here at this time. Uh, the world has come along and the manufacturers have uh, put together certain vaccines uh, to try to combat this uh, virus as plaguing mankind. It's a pestilent. And uh, many people have come up with different notions about what this vaccine represents. And uh, because of that... Uh, some believe, my God, that it's actually the mark of the beast. Is that right? Uh, we do have a guest here today, uh, Minister Dawa Israel uh, from the state of Michigan, uh, who contends just that, that the vaccine that has been distributed or the vaccines that have been distributed throughout the world uh, are in essence, my God, a fulfillment of biblical scripture, that being it represents the mark of the beast. Uh, we've invited him here today to uh, state his position and so that uh, it can be very uh, well understood what he believes and at the same time to bring you the truth of what it actually represents. Is that right? Uh, we believe and uh, we, all our teaching is based on scripture and on scripture only. And uh, today uh, we're going to have a discussion between Pastor Jennings and uh, Minister Dawa Israel from the state of Michigan uh, on this very subject. Uh, we're going to start off by uh, having a, or allowing Mr. Dawa Israel to have 10 minutes to explain his position as to why he believes that the vaccines that are being distributed throughout the world are, in essence, the mark of the beast. After that, he stated his position about 10 minutes. Uh, we certainly then will ask him and Pastor Jennings to come to the podium so there can be a fuller discussion. Uh, the purpose being that everybody may be edified, is that right? And uh, walk away uh, from the discussion with a full understanding of what is the truth concerning the vaccines. So at this time, we're going to introduce to you Minister Dawa Israel from the state of Michigan. Yeah. Come on. I go first. Comes forward. Before Mr. Israel comes forward, we're going to ask Pastor Jennings to introduce him. All right. Greetings, everybody. We bear witness there is no God but one. We bear witness there is no God besides him, equal to him, greater than him. And I see that. Mr. Israel is not mic'd, so I'm going to ask you yes, back there so there are no delays. Yes, I am. He's mic'd. Is he mic'd? Yes, I am. All right, good. So we want to make sure there are no delays when he and I occupy at the same time and dive into the book oh, of yes. goodness here. <laughs> <laughs> now I want to greet all of our beloved brothers and sisters that are listening and watching and to you that are here. Before we get into the conversation... I want to re-announce to all of my brothers and sisters and remind you that July 22nd through the 25th is our International Holy Convocation. And uh, every Saturday and every Sunday is normally our minister's council meeting. This year, uh, our minister's meeting will only be on Saturday at 10 o'clock. Sunday at 10 o'clock, I want all the brothers and sisters of First Church of our Lord Jesus Christ to pay attention. Amen. All brothers and sisters that have the CDL license and that have experience in dispatching as well as contract negotiating, 
also that are diesel mechanics be here on the 25th, which is that Sunday morning at 10 o'clock. There will be an important meeting for all of you in the minister's room of council. Remember, all of you that have your CDLs, experience in dispatching, also contract negotiating, and that are diesel mechanics. Sunday morning at 10 o'clock on the 25th, I want to meet with all of you uh, so we can discuss business of importance. All right, but let me get those in the way and out the way and update you. Of those that were baptized in the name of Jesus Christ so far, five in headquarters, two in Rocky Mount, one in Atlanta, Georgia, two in Detroit, one in Fredericksburg, Virginia, two in Baltimore, one in Jackson, Mississippi, three in North Chicago, five in Sacramento, one in Orlando, Florida, 16 in Bronx, New York, 28 in Dallas, Texas. Amen. 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 Now, as Brother Dan the Man stated, I'm glad to have Mr. Israel here from Michigan. And uh, we're going to discuss this mark of the beast business. Yes. Whether the COVID-19 vaccine is that the mark of the beast? Not is it leading up to it. Not is it part of it. Is it that? Are you listening? So I want everybody to listen to Mr. Israel clearly without any interruption, without any disturbance. Amen. Let's listen at him clearly Amen. and patiently. He will have 10 minutes, because more than enough time sure. to get his Bible and get busy, go to work. Amen. And uh, after that, he and I will come up to the podium here and exchange dialogue based upon one thing. God everlasting word. Brothers and sisters, Mr. Israel. Hallelujah. 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 I give honor to the Ancient of Days, written in Daniel. 7th chapter in verse 9. The father of creation. On December 7th of 2020, I was in the hospital with what they call COVID-19. Now I had my doubts before that. I had my doubts before I went to the hospital. I felt like something, I felt like the government had put something out here to uh, sicken the masses and kill many of us off. I feel like it is war. I know Pastor Gino said that there's no war that comes through a needle. But today, I'm going to show you that that's not true. Anyway, when I was in the hospital, I noticed some strange things. I noticed that they said that the coronavirus was easily destroyed by Lysol. But there was no Lysol in the stores where I lived. It had been removed from all the shelves. Now, if the government cares about you getting healthy, why would they remove something that can kill the virus? Then in the hospital, there was no no Lysol. And a sister came in to my room, and she began to talk to me really down the earth. And she said that the state had given all of the first responders $500. But the hospital staff, the higher ups in the hospital, decided to take the $500. Thought that was kind of peculiar, because all over the television, 
there was all this hoorah about the first responders. And all over the internet, they were making videos about the first responders and how we should love the first responders and show them respect and honor and all of this. But in the hospital where people were sick and dying, that wasn't happening. So that began, to, that continued my skepticism of the government. And she told me also that uh, they wouldn't allow them to have uh, bleach in the hospital. And bleach is known to kill germs. But every time they came in my room, they had this whole body suit on. And they told me I couldn't even sign a piece of paper because anything I signed was contaminated. And I'm looking like, this doesn't make any sense. But anyway, that's the narrative that they were given. And on the 14th, which is the day Donald Trump introduced his warp speed program, and the first word in warp speed is war, he introduced it with an army general, a military general, which really caught my attention. Well, I don't know if it was the military, army, and maybe one of, that, one of the armed forces. But it was a general letting us, and this general was in charge of taking these COVID-19 shots, uh, chemicals, to various locations, vaccine sites, hospitals, and things of that nature. And I told the people, I'm ready to get out of here. I got I to gotta get out of here today. I don't want to be nowhere around when they come with this so-called shot. And uh, before that, though, there was a guy that was, used to work on, he was in charge of the, uh, the uh, oxygen machine that I was on. And we were watching the news, watching them come out with this so-called shot and listen to the general talk. And he said, man, I know people that are doctors. I know nurses, good doctors and nurses, that don't want any parts of this. And I said, that makes a lot of sense to me. Some people are smarter than others. Some people don't trust the government. Some people can see the devil moving within the government like the ancient prophets could see the devil moving in the government a long time ago. Let's go to. Jeremiah chapter 1. I'll start at verse 4. Then the word of Yah came unto me, saying, Before I formed you in the belly, I knew you. And before you came as forth, out of the womb, I already sanctified you. And I ordained your prophet unto the nations. Then said I, I, Yah, Almighty, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a child. But the Most High said unto me, Say not, I am a child, for thou shalt go to all that I shall send you, and wherefore or whatsoever I command you, you shall speak. Be not afraid of their faces, for I am with you to deliver you, saith the Most High. Then the Most High put forth his hand and touched my mouth, and the Ancient of Days, which is the Most High, said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in your mouth. See, I have this day set you over the nations and over kingdoms to root out, to pull down, to destroy, to throw down, to build, and then to plant. So, this is uh, what I'm here to do. Root out, Wonderful. Throw down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> build and plant later. Back to what I said about warp speed and the general. That was to let us know that the government was coming once again 
with biological and chemical warfare, just like they place biological and chemical warfare on our ancestors that were called the Native Americans of this land. I heard Pastor Gino say his father was a full-blooded Cherokee. That's an honor. My uh, great-grandmother <laughs> on my mother's side was a full-blooded Cherokee Indian. I never got a chance to meet her, but I was told that she was a dark-complected woman of beautiful skin and smooth skin and things of that nature. And then my father told me that his great-grandmother was a full-blooded Zulu from Africa. Hmm. So I encompassed both of these energies, both of these heritages, and both of these cultures. So what we have done is let's go to Jeremiah the 17th chapter. We have discontinued as a people from the heritage that was given to us by birth to join the denominations of pale faces. And most of these, gave, they gave us these religions while we were in, on plantations getting our backs beat out being castrated, being raped. The men were raped, the women were raped, the boys and the gals were raped. And they were, the people that was giving us Jesus, what a Christian pale faced slave master. That is a fact. We knew nothing of a J-S-U-S before they gave it to us. There was even no J and no alphabet nowhere in the world until 1489. And a man named Peter Galatian, this is the one who gave us the J, and it came from the Y, then it became the I, then they made a hook and gave you the J, and we all got hooked on Jesus. <laughs> yeah, they just hooked us right on in, and we decided to leave our own culture and our own heritage. We decided to leave the Cherokee faith. Leave the Choctaw our heritage, Choctaw, Chickasaw, Washtenaw, all these great Indian tribes. And when they took us away from our land, they gave us the name Negroes. That's the name they put on all the natives of, our land, of this land. That was our ancestors. And they erased our history and removed us far from it. And so then they, the European settlers from all different parts of the world came here and they gave us denominations. Now, if you take the N and the M in denomination and switch them, you get demon nations. Now, why would the Most High, the ancient of days, the father of creation, allow something that he gave us to be so closely related to the word demon. Think about that. You could just spell it out if you want to. Write it down on a piece of paper. Denominations, it means demon nations. If you switch Israel, the your 10 minutes is up. You can stay up here. You can stay up here. Okay. I gave you 10 minutes to state your case of why you believe that the COVID uh, vaccine was and is the mark of the beast. I was waiting for you to go to the Bible and prove your case and, and you didn't do it. I, uh, scriptures you read had nothing to do with the mark of the beast. I agree with you 100% in reference to the wicked and the ungodly and the perverseness of the government of America how they have used chemicals all down through the years to destroy people of color and not just people of color, just to destroy members of the human family at large. During the Vietnam War, they dropped Agent Orange on their own military men. So I agree with that 100%. Uh, in reference to the Native American, the Indian, and other ethnic groups, a lot of things you say, you don't have no problems out of me with that. This is where we differ. The subject is not Native American. The subject is not chemical warfare. The subject is COVID-19 vaccine. 
the mark of the beast according to the prophecy given in scripture. And that's what we want to discuss, all right? Mm -hmm. Now, you must look at the event and then look at prophecy. Never look at the event first. Look at prophecy first. Are you familiar with the mark of the beast? Well, in Revelation 13 chapter, yes. Yes, you familiar with it? Yes, I am. All right, so, but so you say that the COVID-19 vaccine is the mark of the beast? Yes, I do. You, it is? Are you sure now? And this is why I stated Donald Trump came to our, to the world okay. with this warp speed program. All right. And he brought a general, which is again, letting us know that they are waging war. That's what the military is used okay. for. Okay, but let me ask you something. Yeah. Uh, the COVID-19 va COVID vaccine certainly was already out in Europe and other countries before America got a hold of it, correct? So Donald Trump did not start or was not the originator of the virus or rather of the vaccine. In fact, America was kind of late <laughs> on distribution. Well, well he brought it to us. He may brought it to us, but it was already out. It was already being given out throughout Europe and India and other countries. So therefore, the distribution of the vaccine was already in existence and America was far behind schedule. Yes. It's, All right? This is a goal now, goal. let's strike this out with Bible. Okay. 13th chapter. You, I want you to get your Bible. I want you to follow me too. Yes. Because I want to get your input on this because either what you said is correct or either what you said is wrong. It's either right. you understand the 13th chapter of the book of Revelation or either you lack understanding. Either your interpretation is biblically correct or either your interpretation is biblically wrong. Exactly. Agree? 13th chapter of the book of Revelation. Now, being that you said that it is the mark of the beast, which beast brought it? The first one or the second one? Hmm. Well, I believe that if you're going to go back to Bible, as you always Oh, I have say, to do that. You can't go no further than the so-called Old Testament. Because again, well, let me say, the New Testament was given to us by, once again, the slave master. That's not true. Yes, it is. All right, let me show you that it's not true. Give me the scripture, all scriptures. Mm -hmm. Miss, move quick. Yes. Let me, let, let, me, let, me, let me certify this with Bible, because now you're giving your opinion. No, and, I'm not giving and your opinion. Israel, okay. your, your, your opinion doesn't mean anything. Yes. I'm going to show no, you no. that all the scriptures are divinely inspired. Right. And no. I'm going to show you Old Testament for an example. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to show you New Testament mm -hmm. for fulfillment. Mm -hmm. yes. To okay. show you that you're wrong. When okay. you finish that, give me the 22nd chapter of the book of Psalms and then give me the book of Matthew. Right. I want to get Jesus on the cross and before he got to the cross, I want to get King David what he said before he got to the cross. All right? All right. All right, I want you to follow me now. Oh, yes. The book of 2 Timothy chapter You get your three. notebook because I'm going to take you to school while you're here. Yes. Are you getting me? Oh, yeah, I hear All you. right, now, I want to show you that he's incorrect when he said the New Testament came from the white man. Right. Let's listen at this. 2 Timothy chapter 3 and at verse 16. Turn Williams up. I want everything to hear. Listen. 2 Timothy chapter 3, we're at verse 16. All right. All scripture. No, just the Old Testament. All scripture. All scripture. Is given by inspiration of God. And why do we have all the scripture? And it's profitable for doctrine, uh -huh. for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Do you believe that? Did he read the truth or did he read a lie? He read what's in the New Testament. Is it the truth or is it a lie? It's a lie. So you don't believe that? No, I don't. All right, good. I'm glad he's can honest. I, can, I, can, I, can, I, can I say why? Can oh, yes. I, I tell me why. Yes, tell me why. A man named Marcion. I don't want that. I don't want Marcion. I want Bible. Uh, That's right. I don't okay, want Marcion. Wait a, minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is a biblical discussion, Israel. Okay, this well, is let me say biblical it like discussion. This. Let me say it like this. All right. The spirit of truth, when the spirit of truth has come, yes. it, say it will guide you into all truth, right? I, I agree. Okay, I'm giving you a piece of truth that's not in there. I don't want that. I want scripture. You agreed to discuss scripture, Israel. So uh, let's come on. Second and Peter. Discussing scripture. Let's come back to the Bible. I don't want nobody else but the prophets. Okay, well, let Jesus, me, let me say Yahushua, like this. Okay. Okay. all the apostles. 
Okay. I don't want nothing else. Okay, well, let me say it like yes, this. Yes, sir. In the New Testament, you got the four Gospels, which is supposedly to replace the five books of Moses. That's not then, true. That's not true. Then you have a bunch of letters. Paul wrote most of those letters. That is not true, but keep going. That is true. No, it's not, brother. No, it's You're not. telling me that Paul didn't write the letters? Paul didn't write letters? He wrote some. Paul wrote most of the letters in the New Testament. All right, now. Is that not true? Let me help you out. No, is that not true, though? No, it's not. Oh. No. Wow, really? Really? <laughs> so why does it say, why does it say that Romans was written by Paul? Romans oh, chapter 16. All right, hold it. Let me correct you. I'm going to show you that Paul didn't even write the book of Romans, but then I'm going to go back to show you that the New Testament is correct. Let me educate you. Paul okay. did not write the book of Romans. Let me show you who wrote it, and then we're going to get the 22nd chapter of the book of Psalms. Romans. I'm going to take you to school, all right? Listen. Romans chapter 16 and verse 22. Follow me. I, Tertullius. I, Tertullius. Who wrote this epistle. Who wrote this epistle. Salute you in the Lord. Salute you in the Lord. No, Paul did not write the book of Romans. One that wrote the book of Romans was a man named Tertullius. Get chapter and verse again. Romans chapter 16 and verse 22. All right, now give me the 22nd chapter of the book of Psalms, and then I want to get the New Testament with Jesus on the cross. I'm going to debunk. Oh, yes. I'm going to debunk Mr. Israel because he said the New Testament was written by the white man because right. you're giving the white slave master too much credit, Israel. Yeah. You're giving them too much credit. Don't do that to him. Yeah. Don't do that. I expect more than that out of you. Yeah. Well, let me ask you this. Yes. Did we have the New Testament when? before the pale face came and gave it to us on the plantation? Uh, yes. No, we did not. Yes, we did. I'm going to prove it to you. No, we Second did not. Peter I'm going to show you. Two. No, we did not. All right. This is your opinion that verse is Bible. We didn't even read their English. That's we all right. Have, we didn't have this before they gave it to Listen, us. Listen, let's go to Bible. That's, that's a lot. Bible. Brother Israel, notice that's I'm going to give you Bible for everything. What? I'm not going to refer to nothing but, but, but Bible. But, but historical facts yes. are true, right? Not always. Historical I facts. Said, hold on. I said historical facts are true, right? That depends. How does it depend? You know why? On what? Because it can be a fact to a man, but not facts to God. Okay, okay. Okay, let me put it like this. Would you agree? The reason why I say that, does not man says, does not man say according to historical facts that okay. we come from apes, and you know we ain't come from no ape. Okay. So that's a historical fact to man. Okay, that now, is not a historical fact to God. Okay, now, you say God, right? Yes. Where's that word come from? Never mind where it come from. We ain't dealing wait, wait, with that. Wait, hold on. No, 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 no. No, yes. we're going to stay with the subject. We're going to stay with one thing at a time. You won't let me get nothing across. Oh, you can get it across, but let's stay with the subject. First, I'm going to debunk you that the New Testament is wrong, and we're going to get back to the mark of the beast because that's what you're here for. The right. word God came from the Germans. That's very nice. Very nice. That's very nice that the Germans that came up with the word. That is a fact. Wonderful. Right. I, very wonderful. More if pale the, face. If the Germans came up with the word God, uh, thank God for the Germans. <laughs> Now, let's strike this out with Bible. I want the 22nd chapter of the book of Psalms. Psalms 22. And I want everything watching to hear me because he said the New Testament came by white folk. It ain't a white man on the planet that I will credit for the inspiration of Scripture. No way. Are you listening? All right, now follow me in the Bible. Psalms 22, we're at verse 1. Listen at this. My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? I want me? you to follow me, Israel. Listen now. Oh, I'm now, listening. Listen. John, give, give, give chapter number. I want you to follow me. Psalms chapter 22. And verse 1. And begin at verse 1. And anyone watching, they can't say that I'm not giving you a chance to talk, but we're going to stick with the subject. And as you begin to tell lies, I'm just going to debunk them for you because I want to help you. Oh, yeah. All right? I'm not, I'm not trying to show... Uh, myself big or nothing. I really want to help you. Mm -hmm. All right? Right. All right, come on, let's have it. Psalms 22 and verse 1. Listen at this. My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Uh -huh. Why art thou so far from helping me and from the words of my wrong? Would you agree that was a prophecy given? Yeah. Who was the prophet talking about? Well, this says, uh, my book says the Messianic prophecy. Mm -hmm. So who was he talking about? Well, I guess the Messiah. He's talking about the Messiah. Who I believe, again, is a brother. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, a brother. Fine. 
Can't be no pale face. Okay, but I, I, I don't care what color his skin was. Well, see, that's foolishness. No, no, no. That's let's, foolishness. Let's, let's come back. Let's come back to the Bible. Okay. The Bible. I'm not getting the skin color. I was trying to go there to prove it, but you I, 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 I don't. I don't want. I don't want skin color. I know you don't want to hear. I don't want skin color. We're gonna deal with Bible. That's right. We're gonna deal with Bible, and then what? after we straighten out the mark of the beast, if you want to talk about skin color, I can dive into that with you too. But right now, let all us right. spend it the subject on hand. Is that all right? Yes, we'll do it your way. All right. Sir. No, we're not gonna do it my way. We're gonna do it the Bible way. Oh, okay. You say so. Because you, you came here to discuss Bible, yes. the mark of the beast. All right, you said that's talking about the Messianic, talking about the coming of the Messiah, which I agree. Mm -hmm. That's the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. That prophecy that's given in the Old Testament, is that a legitimate prophecy? I believe so. So it's true? I believe so. All right. Now, Wonderful. it had to be fulfilled somewhere. Was it fulfilled in the Old Testament or was it fulfilled in the New well, Exodus 4 and 22 says, Israel is my son, even my firstborn. That's talking about us. Okay, but we ain't talking about Israel right now. Let's stick to the no, Messianic I said, I, prophecy. I, I, I said, you asked me where it said. I said, Exodus 4 and 22 yes. says that, uh, I just had, let me go to it. Yes, now. you go Can ahead. Can I go to it? Exodus yes. 4 and verse yes. 22. Oh, yeah. Israel, yeah, you want to read it? Sure. Yes. Yes. Please. Exodus chapter 4 and verse 22. Yeah. And thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, mm -hmm. Thus saith the Lord, mm -hmm. Israel is my son, uh -huh. even my firstborn. Right. That's the Messiah. We are a messianic people. And the European took that thought from us and gave us one individual, and that's not the case. So Jesus is not the Messiah? No. He's not? No, not nowhere on the planet. Let's get the woman at the well. Yeah. <laughs> Listen at the Bible. Yeah. No. Now, before, hold it. Now, before... Before, before you read that, before you read that, I want, because I, gotta, I want to teach gotta, the viewers oh yes. and him simultaneously. Sure. Now, let's straighten out the 22nd chapter of the book of Psalms. Of Psalms. He said that's talking about Israel, correct? No, I didn't say it. The book said it. No, it didn't. Yes, it did. No, it didn't. Psalms 22 and verse 1. Let's read Psalms again. You didn't just read Psalms Exodus 22 4. and verse 1. Just, just Are you minute. serious? Yeah, I'm very serious. Exodus 4 and 22 didn't say Israel is my son? Yes, it's, that said it. Oh. We ain't talking about that. What do you mean? We're that's talking about... Ain't that book? Yes. Ain't that Bible? Don't yes. you always say go back to the Bible? I agree Bible? with that. Okay, so... I agree with that. But the 22nd chapter of the book of Psalms, that prophecy... That's not about nobody different than the one in Exodus 4 and 22. It could All be, right, let's see. That would be a contradiction of the most. Just high. a minute. Let's see now. Let's read Psalms. Psalms 22 and verse 1. Listen. My let's God... Is it talking about Jesus, Yahashua... Or is it talking about Israel? Right. Listen. Psalms 22 and verse 1. Listen at the language of the scripture. My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Yes. Why art thou so far from helping me uh -huh. and from the words of my roaring? All right, now let's see when was it fulfilled. St. Matthew chapter 27 and at verse 46. <laughs> says what? And about the ninth hour, Jesus cried. Jesus cried. No, a, Israel cried. Jesus cried. With a Jesus loud cried with the Yahashua Hamashiach cried with a loud voice. With a loud voice, saying, "Eli, Eli, lema Eli, Eli, lema sabbatani." That is to say. That is to say. My God, my God, my God, my God. Why hast thou forsaken me? Did Jesus fulfill it? No. That's a, that's a lie too. I just told you, I tried to tell you, but you don't want to hear So me. that's a lie, too. You don't want me to prove. You don't want me to show what I got. You don't want me I to I want you to show it. I'm just asking you, is that a lie, too? It is a lie. I just told you that. All right. Lie. So he said that New Testament scripture is a lie. I, I want the, the Hebrew Israelites that are watching one of your brothers here who's calling the Bible a lie quite no, a I'm bit. No, no, I'm not bit. calling the Bible you a lie. You got a very interesting representative. I'm not calling the Bible a lie. I don't right. represent anybody. I told you that sitting right there. I'm independent. You know that. I just All right. told you that. You're independent, but I you still consider you yourself a Hebrew Israelite, correct? I told you where my foundation came from, and I told you I moved from that to the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. You can't go no further Back to Bible than the Old Testament. Well, the Creator didn't give us no New Testament. He didn't. The pale face gave it. To All right, us. that's your opinion. And All right. To put Let's go to the 13th chapter of the Book of Revelation. Revelation. Let's start talking about this mark of the beast business. Revelation Let's chapter go. 13. We'll start at verse one. That's All right. right now, he says that the COVID-19 vaccine is. That's what I said. The mark of the beast. Yeah. Sure did. So. 
Which beast brought it? The first one or the second one? Well, you want to deal with the beast of Revelation. You can't do it really until you, unless you go to Daniel, the seventh chapter. Okay, you can go to wherever that, you like. That is the beginning of that prophecy. Go now, wherever you it, like. The, now, the New Testament uh, writers, the, the, uh, what the, the translators, mm -hmm. they gave uh, what I believe should be given to Daniel to some John the Revelator. Oh, that sounds crazy. I know because you never heard it before. Second Peter chapter 1. I know, I know. Let, 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 him, let him finish, Williams. Oh, yeah. That sounds very crazy because you probably never heard it like that before. Uh -huh. But now, as I keep trying to tell Pastor Jennings and you all, because I'm not your enemy, I didn't come all this way to be your enemy. I said and praise with you. Listen, I was, an ordained, I was ordained as a bishop at 25. Uh, Brother Israel, I, I, listen, I'm not interested in that. I don't care if you was ordained a bishop okay. at three. <laughs> I, want, I want to deal with the mark of the beast. That's right. You said right. you that. Do the, so well. do you so do it your way. You said. I'll When anybody come up here to have a discussion with me, I pin them down with Bible. Right. I'll, I'll do all it so I, I'll be quiet. Israel, all I want you to do mm -hmm. is give Bible chapter and the verse. Even if you want to go to you Daniel, be my guest. You just told me to continue. I want you to then get, you listen, listen, because you want to talk about when you was ordained. We ain't here to hear that. That's right. All you know, I, what I was trying to do is let the audience know I'm no different than they are. That's all I'm doing. They're not interested. How do you know? We ain't, are you interested? <laughs> now, will you come on back to Bible? <laughs> like I said. Come back to Bible. You can't. Go, go, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. You do Israel. Thing. You want to go to Daniel, go to the book of Daniel and certify at the vaccine. No, we stay in Revelation 13. You, I'm asking you. Let's go to Revelation 13. All let's right. Let's go with that. Let's get into that. And just show me. Okay, tell let's me, get it. Just a minute. Which beast? Like I said. Which beast? Dan okay, let me say it like this. Yes. In Daniel, the seventh chapter, all them beasts are described. One of the beasts is Rome. That's pale faces. Now the beast is Greece, that's pale faces. There's some of they, they at one point the, 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 the Roman beast uh, was slain or something happened and he rose up again. But these two basic, and these basic beasts were nations of white folks. Now if you think I'm lying, just do the research. Everybody, everybody be quiet, please. Daniel the seventh, Daniel the seventh chapter. Describe those beasts, and if you go and look at the prophecies, they were Rome and Greece. So Greece gave us the, the New Testament is written in Greek. P, period. That's why I say it's already debunked. Uh, Mr. Israel, would you please get the scripture that certify or justify There's nothing or I'm be verify able to say. There's nothing. that. The COVID-19 virus is. You're jumping all over the place. I'm asking you. I'm staying at one spot. I just want Bible to prove that it is. I just told you, you didn't what give the prophecies it. mean. All right. Let me ask you a question then, because you, being that you won't prove it because you can't. Okay. Did the, so scriptures, did the scriptures prophesy that the mark of the beast will be given in our shoulder? It didn't say, as you said before, you don't know where it's going to be played. You said that in one of your videos. You Wait a minute. Know. Wait a minute. I never said that. Yes, you did. All right. Yes, you did. No. All right. Now you're lying. Being that he's saying that the Bible did not say where it would be placed, I want everybody to follow me. 13th chapter book of Revelation. Revelation chapter 13, and now we're at verse 16. Follow me in your Bible, Israel. Follow me in your Bible. Revelation. Yes, sir. Revelation chapter 13 and verse 16. Listen. And he causeth all, both small and great. You better go up to verse 12. At verse 12. And he exerciseth all the power of the there, first. I want him to get all of it. You oh. better go up to verse 10 quickly. Revelation 13 and at verse 10. Be quick. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Yes. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the mm. patience and faith of the saints. Yes. And I beheld another beast coming up. I beheld up another earth. beast. Coming where? Out of the earth. Out of the earth. And he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. Then what? And he exerciseth all the power of the first beast before him. Yes. And causeth the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast, uh -huh. whose deadly wound was healed. Right. And he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven uh -huh. on earth in the sight of men. 
And he deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. All right. Saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast. And then what? Which had the wound by a sword and did live. Uh -huh. Now we're at verse 15. Listen. And he had power to give life the unto the image of the beast. Had power to give life to the image of the beast. That the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should yes. be killed. Verse 16. All right. And he causeth all, both small and great. To do what? Rich and poor, free and bond. To receive a mark. To receive a mark. In their right hand. In their right hand. Or. Or. In, in their forehead. Or in their forehead. Amen. Is the vaccine in your right hand or in your forehead or is it in your shoulder? Uh, Psalms. The 91st chapter, since you're stuck on right hand and you can't get off that forehead thing. Is the mark of the beast. I'm going to answer you. Answer me with Bible. Well, I'm, I'm just saying, Psalm 91, ain't that Bible? Yes, read it. I'll show me where, where's that. Psalm 91. Because mm -hmm. you're stuck on right hand thinking that's got to be literal and it don't. All right, just show me where the, where the mark yeah, going to be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're going to get to it. Yes, you do that. Yes, sir. You're a pretty cool guy. Mm -hmm. Thank you, brother. <laughs> Psalm 91 mm -hmm. and verse 7. A thousand shall fall at your side and ten thousand at thy right hand. Is that literal? Huh? I want the mark is of the beast. I don't is, want that. Is that. I'm just showing you. I, I don't want that. I know you don't. I don't want that. I know you don't want to hear nothing. Because of that. the scripture you brought ain't got nothing to do with the subject. Now, come listen, on, Israel. Listen. Israel, here, here. I, I, see, I, see, this is where we differ. We have an issue Israel. here. Because I told you before, the New Testament was not given to us by our I own. Don't, that's your own that's wicked, not my, ungodly, that's, that's perverted that's opinion, that which I don't lie. want. That but is a lie, and I got the proof right here. I don't. I want scripture. You don't want to hear where nothing. the vaccine that, is the mark of the beast. Okay, or let, let me just say it like this: this. Say it any way you want, as long as you bring by it. Let me prove say it. it like this: yes. When you go to the clinic, hmm. when you go to the doctor, <laughs> yes. What do they do? Don't they put the little red uh, a gun on the forehead uh -huh. and the right hand? I don't want that. What? I want the mark of the beast, not the clinic. That's right. That's right. I want the mark it's, of the beast. Okay, why do they put the mark? Why do they put it there? They do, they're checking you for COVID-19, correct? I want the mark of the beast. Man. It didn't say the clinic going to put it on there. Right. I didn't say it said the clinic. I said... When you go to the clinic, yes. we're talking about COVID-19. Uh -huh. This is in correlation, uh -huh. sir. You, I know you're smarter than that, uh -huh. right? This is in correlation. Yes. When you go to the clinic or the doctor. Yes. I don't care, VA clinic, wherever. Mm -hmm. They take the little red light and put it on the forehead. When they take your temperature? And they, yes, and they put it right here. <laughs> That's in correlation. So. Brother, brother, bro, brother that, Israel. And, and let me say this. Yes, brother Israel. Let me say this. Yes, you please do that. This shot that you get in the arm, it don't really matter. Hold it just a minute. It, does, it, it, does, it doesn't matter Can I, because what's going to happen, yes. what happens with the shot is that there's nanobots, uh -huh. you may not want to hear this either, in the shot. Uh -huh. And... They spread throughout the whole entire body. Can, can and, I interject you just a minute, Brother Israel? Just a minute, then you can finish. Do any of the nurses here got the temperature gauge? Let a nurse get it, please, and bring it up. That know how to use it. Where? That know how to use it. No, bring, come around here, brother. Come around here. Come on. Come on around here. Real quick. Come around here. And uh, let, turn, turn it on. Now, is, is the light... No light. So, the mark of the beast is coming out of here? Uh, did I say that? Huh? Did you hear me say that? You said that? that's the light. You didn't, you now, didn't, wait a minute. Did you hear me say that? I'm asking you. See, that's disrespectful. No, I'm asking asked. you. I Israel. didn't say that. You know I didn't say that. Israel. I didn't say that. I Israel. said this is in correlation. All right. I didn't say it I'm, was. I'm asking you. I didn't you, say that. I'm asking you a question. When Why you, ask me something you when already When you know go to, to the doctors and they point this at your yeah. head. For COVID-19. For COVID-19. Right. Is COVID-19 the mark, the vaccine? Is it the mark of the beast? Yes or no? I already said I believe that. All right. Now, would you please show in the Bible right. where the mark Well, you don't want to talk. Why don't you given. find it? You had him reading. You stopped. The mark, is it given any place else other than the forehead or right hand? Or, or is this giving it to you? Come on, 
That's in correlation, like I said. In other words, you ain't got no Bible. No. You don't either. You don't and have no Bible. Revelation you don't 13 and verse 16. Bible because I'm about to bring this conversation to an end because you can see he ain't got no Bible. You got your time on television. You got your time on television. Not that it helped you any. Because I'm telling you, whenever you come to Pastor Jen with a discussion, you have to deal with me with Bible. That's right. I don't, I, I'm telling you, I have no interest or concern for your opinion when it touched scripture. I wasn't given opinions. Your ideology. Oh, I'm not giving ideology. All right, let's see what you the Bible says. Mean, Revelation 13 and verse 16. And it causes That's all, it both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, yes. to receive a mark in their right hand and what? or in their forehead. And? and that no man might buy or sell. No man might buy or sell. Save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Now you said you didn't get the shot, right? I, I wouldn't dare. I'm not that crazy. All right. So you didn't get the shot. So that means. I never will. All right. So Israel. So you didn't get the mark of the beast, correct? Right. <laughs> right. Uh, when the last time you bought anything? <laughs> and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had let the me, mark. Let me, let, me, let me deal with that. Let me deal with that. Didn't it say a time? This thing shall go on in Revelation for a time. A time and a half a time? It's got three and a half years, and we ain't in but a, a year and a half or so. So it's not finished yet. They're not done. As a matter of fact, this day is the day that the president said he wants to have his 70% of the population vaccinated, and he said that the unvaccinated are going to pay. He only, he only got 7.4 million more that he needs to be vaccinated. So when buy and give out the so, vaccination, so, is he giving so, out the mark of the beast? Did I say that? Um, you said that the vaccine oh, is. Oh, 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 oh. If he's giving it out, then yeah. It is? If he's giving it out, then he's giving the mark of the beast. But check this out. So let me ask you a question. Okay. So if someone got the vaccine now, they got the mark of the beast. I would say they do. No, never mind what you would say. According to the you Bible. Just according, but I want you to answer according to the Bible. I don't want your opinion. Now Israel. how... Okay, how can I prove that the vaccine in here is, or it doesn't say the word vaccine. You already said in one of your videos, you don't know how it's going to be administered. Now no, I did not. Yes, you did. No, I said, I don't Asian know lion. how the mark of the beast is right. going to be administered. That's, That's what, what I just said. But you said you do know because oh you said God, it's man. the vaccine. You're funny. Huh? Right. Fun. Now, would you please come back keep saying and just answer the question? I'm everywhere you go. The Bible says Revelation they won't 13, be able to do what? And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free yes. and bond, uh -huh. to receive a mark in their right hand and then what? or in their forehead. Yes. And that no man might buy or sell, Why? save he that had the mark. Now, you don't have the mark because you says, according to you, the vaccine is the mark of the beast. The scripture says you won't be able to buy or sell unless you got the mark. Yeah, but check this. When the last time you bought something? Well, That's you right. know, I'm come on and answer the uh, question. Let now. me answer. When the last time you bought something? Uh, today. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark. But you don't have the mark. How you buy or sell? That's right. I said again. That's right. I'm gonna say it again for the hearing impaired. <laughs> it said it's gonna take. Three and a half years for this whole thing to complete. Mm -hmm. Biden has to come and tell us what his next plan is going to be. They want to double down, I'm pretty sure, on those of us who are not vaccinated. Now, when you have a mask on, sometimes you go in a store, you can't even buy nothing if you ain't got a mask on. But it's not happening everywhere all the time because you, it depends upon the managers of the store. Some are leaning on masks and some are not. And that no man. The Bible then says depending upon the manager. And that no man. The Bible made it plain here. And that no man. said three and a half years. Y'all know that. You the Bible says hear. what? And that no man might buy we or sell. Save he that had the mark. The Bible changed that. We're not done with the three and a half year period. The, the don't Bible act changed like don't that. Say that. Don't act like you don't know. Did the, the Bible, Bible change don't that? Don't act like. Israel. Israel. Don't act like Israel. you don't know. What are you doing buying anything? You ain't got the mark. Man, I just told you. <laughs> what are you doing it buying? It takes three and a half years. You act like you don't hear that. You but know it's in the book. You and don't that, take three and a half years. 
I, this, I said now. I'm listen. Right now. Listen. Right now. Right now. Once again, I'm gonna say I ain't gonna say it no more. I don't have to. <laughs> it's in your Bible. Where? In your revelation. That the mark of the beast will no, be three and a half years. Three and a half year period. For what? For this whole mark of the beast thing to take place. Uh -huh. Three and a half years. We're not there completely yet. So who gave out the mark? The first or the second beast? What difference does that make? <laughs> what, what difference does it make? They both pale, all of them pale faces. Who what gave? difference does it make? Because one? I'm dealing Greco, with Bible. The Roman who, Dr. The Fossey, Bible, the Bill Bible Gates. it makes a difference because we're dealing with scripture. Who gave out the mark, the first or the second beast? One of them pale faces gave it out. Uh-uh, I don't want that. What difference does it make? Who gave out the mark? The what first or the second does beast. That make? Okay, maybe it was Bill Gates. Maybe it was Dr. Fawcett. Oh Lord. They don't want Who Bill Gates. Gave out the mark. Hello. Bill Gates. The first is the first or the second beast. You I'm don't want it. see you don't want to deal with the fact that My these Lord. beasts are pale faced nature. That's your problem. Because you're stuck on these white folks' religions. My Lord. Uh, Israel? Yeah. Who gave out? The mark. I, I, like I said, the first you do not want to deal with the, the fact second that the beast. first beast is a pale face nation and the second beast is a pale face Listen, nation. Listen, I don't care if they're white as snow, black as the street, That's brown as cinnamon That's and clear as water. Come on back to Bible, Israel. I'm with back to Bible. Israel, come back to Bible. Okay, let me, let me say this. Come back to Bible. Yeah, no, let, I'm going to go to Bible. Come Daniel on, Daniel 7 and 9. Let's read it. It's, all right, let's go. Let's read it. Daniel 7 and 9. And this is what they do. They start calling a bunch of scriptures. They ain't got Dippy Squat to do it. what we're talking about. Oh, this no. is going to prove something here. Come on. We're going to prove something. Yeah. You All right. right. Let's go to it now. What Daniel 7 and 9 says, I behold till the thrones were cast down. Yes. And the ancient of days did sit, whose, certain, whose garment were white as snow, and the hair on his head like pure wool. Okay. Not describing no pale face. What they got to do with the mark of the beast? No. I what agree I'm, with that 100%. What's right. That got to do with so don't tell me that, you, that nations are not described in this book and it's not important. That's a lie. We ain't talking about that. You said it ain't important. I said it ain't you important about the color of their skin. Well, that's a lie because right here the ancient of days is it's described what? as what? a woolly haired person. That ain't no pale face. That's nice. Now come on back to the mark of the beast. I just get, go ahead. Come on back. Let's go back to Revelation. Which beast is giving out one the mark? One of them pale the face. The first or the second? I don't care which one. All right. One you of don't them care. Pale, no. Just like so you that, don't. So that means you don't like care about you, the Bible. Just, no, I don't mm. care about the New Testament. You don't. Just like you don't care what color the creator is, which is nonsense. So we described it right here. You're going against All the right. creator. All right. The creator said he had woolly hair, and you saying it don't matter what color. That's a lie. So the mark of the beast, you made it clear, you don't care how it's given out. No, I didn't say that. You just. I just what? I said I don't believe in the New Testament. You don't believe in the New Testament? That's what I said. I keep telling you that. All right. Well, you I may do not believe, though. You may not believe it. I do it. believe that, again, I'll say it again. I do believe that some of that stuff written in there, given to John the Revelator, whoever that was, should be back, should be in Daniel to make it complete. Because in Daniel 7 chapter, it's talking about the same thing in Revelation. You wouldn't even have a Revelation 13 chapter without Daniel first. And Daniel don't say nothing about the mark of the beast. So again, I believe the translators, the pale face translators, Took it out and put it in Revelation to give Revelation a little more so, meat. So you My don't Lord. believe. So you just believe it. The white man just took it and threw it any way he want. That's what he does. Second Peter chapter uh, one. We'll start at verse twenty. All right, we're gonna bring this conversation to an end because he made yeah. it clear he don't believe it. He so. don't believe it. Let's listen at this. Second Peter chapter one verses twenty and twenty one. All right. Knowing this first, that no prophecy uh, of the don't, scripture. Don't, don't don't do that to Williams now. Let's get make sure this sound stay right. Amen. The Bible says. 2 Peter chapter 1, verses 20 and 21. What is it? Knowing this first, that no prophecy Knowing of the scripture. Knowing this first, that no prophecy. Of the scripture. None. 
No prophecy ever given in scripture is of any private interpretation. You can't blame no personal race That's right. of being responsible for any contents of scripture because when you do that, you're giving them the authority to have private interpretation. Oh, yeah. What else? For the prophecy came not in old time How? by the will of man. The prophecy didn't come in old time by man's will, but by man's opinion. How did it come? But holy men of God speak. What kind? Holy men of God speak. What kind? Holy men of God speak. No, just holy black men. Holy men of God. No, just a bunch of holy white men. Holy men of God. Just a bunch of holy yellow men. Holy men of God. What did they do? Spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. All right, Israel, you can have your seat. Oh, okay. You can have your seat now. You brothers can take the microphone off of them, disconnect them. That's right. Disconnect them, get his thing together, disconnect them, please. And you can have your seat in, uh, you can have a seat in the pulpit or you can go. Disconnect this mic, please. <laughs> because basically, he done exactly what I told you he was going to do. Just That's read different scriptures. It ain't got nothing to do with the subject and don't know what he's doing. You know, I've talked to different gentlemen that say they're of Hebrew Israelites. And uh, thank you for coming to Israel. You, you can either have a seat or uh, you can be ready to leave, whatever you want to do. Uh, all right, you can have a seat then. I, I want you to hear. I want you to make yourself comfortable and uh, relax. And uh, so we can take you to school. Right. Now, I want everybody to understand this. The religion of men is one thing. The revelation of God is another. I agree with Mr. Israel 100% when he said that the religions of this earth come from men. He's 100% right. Started by men. Promoted by men. To make people ignorant, blind, deaf, and dumb of all races. But touching what God declared. It is God that told us, be holy. No white man told us. No white man, that's right. No black man told us. Leviticus 19 no verse brown man told us. Let's go to the Old Testament that he say he believed. Leviticus chapter 19 and at verse 1. That's what? And the Lord spake unto Moses saying. The Lord spake to Moses or to Musa saying. Speak unto all the congregation of the children of speak Israel. Speak unto all the congregation of Israel. And say unto them. Say to them. Ye shall be holy. For ye shall be holy. Be holy. And what was the reason? For I, the Lord your God, am holy. Now, viewers, no white man put that in there. No. The Lord declared it. Ye shall be holy. And the Lord is of no ethnic group. That's right. The Lord is of no ethnic In fact, the Lord is before ethnic group. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Before there was any ethnic group in the world, yeah. God was here. That's right. God have no beginning. Right. God have no ending. God always was. Psalms 90 and at verse 2. God always have been. Right. Give me his script in the book of Daniel. Yeah. That talk about the hair like wool. Yes. I want to explain that. And then give him the first chapter of Revelation. Revelation. Yes. Because he don't want to stand. That's right. I mean, he don't want to stand what that is. That's right. And, and then I want the 53rd chapter book of Isaiah. Right. Which will establish what the wool is. That's right. Hey Amen. Let's take it apart. You see, we just don't read Bible. Yeah. We explained it. Yeah. Take it apart. Yeah. Strip it bare. Yeah. Thank God to give you an understanding. That's right. Let's go back to the book of Daniel. Daniel chapter 7 and verse 9. Follow me. I beheld till the thrones were cast down. I beheld till the thrones was cast down. And the ancient of days did and sit. And God. Hmm. <laughs> Yahweh. That's right. yeah. Elohim. Yeah. Right. Jehovah. Amen. The Father. That's right. The creator and the ancient of days. Who is that God? The ancient of days. Did sit. Did sit. Whose garment was white as snow. Whose garment was white as snow. And the hair of his head like the pure wool. And the, the hair of his head like the pure wool. Like. He didn't say it was. Like the pure wool. 
it compared yes. his hair that's right. to the comparison of wool. That's right. At no time it said he had woolly hair. Like the pure wool. It said like. It's like if you see a man who's dressed like a woman, you say he's like a woman, but he's not a woman. So God, the scriptures compare. That's right. His hair. And the hair of his head. The hair of his head. Like the pure wool. It ain't never said his hair is woolly. <laughs> no. It ain't never said that God had woolly hair. No. It ain't never said that. No. That's why I love to stay within the confines of scripture. That's right. Listen at this. And the hair of his head like the pure wool. It was like the pure wool. His throne was like the fiery flame. His throne. He didn't say his throne was fire. His throne was like the fiery flame. But it flame. was like the fiery flame showing you the brightness of it, the power of it, the authority of it. And his wheels as burning fire. All right. Now, 53rd chapter the book of Isaiah. Now, Isaiah chapter 53, we'll start at verse 1. I want to show you what wool represents. That's right. Listen. Who hath believed our report? Yes. And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? Yes. Now we're down at verse 6. Listen. Are we like sheep have oh. gone astray? We are like sheep going astray. We have turned every one to his own way. And what? And the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. So the Spirit of God laid on the Messiah mm -hmm. the iniquity of us all. In other words, Jesus was the scapegoat. That's right. Jesus was the sacrifice. That's right. You know, Aaron took his hands and thanks be unto God, laid it upon the head of the goat and then confessed his sins and the sins of Israel upon the head of the goat and then a fit man came and led the goat away right. so meaning the goat took the blame right. for the sins of the people yet the goat did not do the sin that's right and Isaiah 53 at verse 6 and 7 says what all we like sheep have gone all astray. of us are like sheep blessed be God gone astray we have turned everyone to his own way and then what and the Lord hath laid on him the Lord laid on him the iniquity of us all the spirit of God laid on the son of God or the Messiah Jesus the sins of all of us he was oppressed listen now it's talking about what Jesus went through he was oppressed he was oppressed and he was afflicted he was afflicted yet he opened not his mouth he, he wouldn't rebel he is brought as a lamb to the slaughter <laughs> He is brought as a lamb. As a lamb to the, to slaughter, the slaughter. And as a sheep. And as a sheep. Before her shearers is dumb. Before her shearers are dumb. So he openeth not his mouth. Hold it. That's where wool coming at. That's right. You see, when the sheep is brought before shearers, shearers. the shearers is removing the wool That's right. off the body. That's right. Of the sheep. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? That's right. So wool represent the Messiah, Jesus, Son of God, being a sacrifice. That's right. He was brought mm -hmm. he as was a lamb brought as a lamb to the slaughter. To the slaughter. And as a sheep. It was talking about how he's being brought to die. That's right. He was brought as a lamb. He is brought to as the a lamb. To, that's right. He's brought as a lamb. To the killing. That's right. And what? He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter. And, what else? and as a sheep and as a sheep is dumb. Wait a minute. When well, you got a shearer, something about to be removed. That's right. Yeah. Something about Jesus, the Lamb of God. That's right. The Son of God. Yes. Was to be moved. That's right. Something had to be cut off. That's right. And the thing that would be cut off right. would be his natural life. That's right. Huh? He Why? Was the lamb was the body, but there was a lion in the lamb. That's right. What if God said he's a lion of the tribe of Judah? Judah. The root of David hath prevailed. So he hung on the cross. You couldn't see God because God is the spirit. But God was in Christ Jesus. Second Corinthians, real quick now. Yeah, yeah. Stay ahead of me. Second yeah. Corinthians, yeah. chapter five. Define. I want to show you where the Spirit of God was located. Second Corinthians, within chapter five. The flesh of the Son of God. That's right. Uh -huh. Second Corinthians five and verse nineteen. Listen. To wit, to wit that God was that God in Christ. Was in Christ. In Christ. In Christ. Doing what? Reconciling, Reconciling the, world the world to Himself. God was in the flesh. That's right. God was in that Son. God was in the lamb. That's right. God was in the sacrifice. 
and when he was in that sacrifice, when the sacrifice died, the Spirit of God offered them up. That's right. It was an offering, a sacrifice for the world. That's right. So world represent he's a sacrifice. That's right. First chapter of the book of Revelation, quickly Revelation now. Revelation chapter 1 and at verse Let 11. Let me dive into it deeper than that. Mm -hmm. I want to itemize what God looked like. That's right. Listen. Revelation chapter 1, we'll start at verse 12. Amen. And I turned to see the voice that spake to I me. turned to see the voice of him that spake to me. And being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. I saw seven golden candlesticks. The seven golden candlesticks represent the seven churches of Asia. And, and, in, and in the midst of the seven candlesticks, what is it? one like unto the Son of Man. One like unto the Son of Man. He saw God with the same shape, same form, same fashion, yes. and the same figure, and the same image that he had when he was walking here on earth. He didn't change the form, but he went from natural to spiritual. That's right. Uh -huh. Clothed with a garment down to the foot. What is it? And girt about the paps with a golden girdle. And his head and his head. Listen, 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 listen. His head. His head. And his hairs. Head is one thing. Hairs is another. That's right. Notice the language of the book. His head. head and his hairs. One thing. Hairs which come out the head. That's right. That's right. Hairs. Were white like wool. Hairs. Head and hair. Listen. His head and his hair. His head and his hairs were white. Were white. white. Wool. It's compared to the whiteness of wool. And what else is it compared to? As white as snow. Snow is one texture. Wool is another. That's right. It dealt with the color of his hair. Yeah. Not the texture of it. That's right. Listen again. His head and his hairs. And hairs were white, were like white, wool. were white, were white, like were wool. white, that's right, like wool, as white as snow. as white as snow. It was dealing with the color, yeah. not the texture. That's right. So, you that's walking around here worrying about what color God is, you're wasting your energy. Amen. I don't care what color he is. You don't obey him, your black self is going to hell right next to the white man. That's right. Get me now. His head and his head. His head and his head. Were white like wool. White like wool. As white as snow. Wool means he's a sacrifice. That's right. Amen. When God was manifested in the flesh, that flesh was called a lamb. Yeah. Amen. And when this body died on the cross and the spirit came out that body, he left the lamb on the cross. He left the sacrifice on the cross because they pleaded for the body. That's right. And when they pleaded for the body, getting it prepared for burial, they had to wash it. Yeah. And when they washed it, they was washing that which was offered. They was washing that that was called lamb. Yeah. They was washing that which was called sacrifice. They was washing that which was called son. They was washing that that had the title meeting that was washing that that was a minister. That's right. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Amen. Woe simply mean he was a sacrifice. Sacrifice. Over to God. All right. His head and his hair his were white like wool. His head was white like wool. As white as white snow. White as snow. And his eyes. His eyes were as a flame of fire. Did you hear? It didn't say it was. And his eyes were See eyes. the language of scripture? It didn't say it was. That's right. I remember I was in Louisiana and a fellow who was contending for the same thing that Israel was contending for. God is black. And when, I, when Williams read that, that his eyes were as a flame of fire, a brother jumped up. He said, you see there? God's eyes is red just like mine. I said, no, yours is red because you're drunk. That's right. <laughs> his was red because he's drunk. Notice the Bible. And his eyes were eyes. And you see the Bible talking metaphoric That's manner, right. a symbolic term. Right. It didn't say it is fire. No. It's as fire. As. So for you to understand why his eyes had the appearance of fire, now you got to understand how fire works. That's you know, right. fire is good when it's burning just right. Yeah. It comforts you. Yeah. Amen. You burn a nice fire at the fireplace. You can sit back in your rocking chair and read a book, talk to your wife, and may get sleepy. It's, it's comfortable. So that fire comforts you. Right. But when that fire that's in that fireplace go beyond the fireplace and go up the wall and go up the ceiling, then it ceases to be comfortable. Now it's out to consume. That's so right. when the Bible says his eyes are the flame of fire, and that means he's a comforter yeah. and he's a consumer in the old time. Testament. The prophet Elijah, thank God, called fire down from heaven. Hallelujah. 
hell. That's right. Amen. He called fire. Amen. He come along and told them. They, they came to the prophet and said, the king wants you. Yeah. Amen. And, and he let them know, let fire come down, down from heaven. and consume thee yeah. and thy 50 men. Amen. So it did. Yeah. Come back again. Man of God, the king want to see you. That's right. If I be a man yeah. of God, let fire come down from heaven and consume thee again. That's right. And then 50 men. Thank God. And even when Baal prophets was gathered at the sacrifice after the prophet rebuilt the altar, after they called on Baal from morning to the evening sacrifice and said, Oh, Baal, hear us. And they didn't get an answer. The prophet come and reconstruct the altar. Got 12 stones that represent the 12 tribes of Israel. Right. He put the wood in order. Got 12 barrels of water. Hallelujah. And then they called on God. That's right. Then they do so. Then the fire. Then the fire of the Lord fell. Of the Lord. Hallelujah. Of the Lord fell. And consumed the burnt sacrifice. And consumed the sacrifice. And the wood. And the wood. And the stone. And the stone. And the dust. And the dust. And licked up the water. And that licked was up in the, the water. So the Bible said his eyes were as were a flame as of fire. A flame of fire means God is a comforter. That's right. Don't you hear Jesus said the comforter Shout. will come. Will come. That's the Holy Ghost. That's right. Right. Thank God. And that same Holy Ghost, right. that same Holy Ghost, right. it come within us to comfort us right. in a time of trouble. That's Hallelujah. Right. Eh. That's right. Eh. Hallelujah. Glory to God. What? The Holy Ghost. And his eyes. Thank God come along and comfort us yeah. with things and glory. The comforter started working. That's right. Now that same fire, That's right. blessed be the name of God, That's right. that come to comfort us. Yeah. Now that same God is a consuming That's fire. Right. That's right. He come along and burn up your eyes. That's right. And say, close your eyes from sin and evil. He come along and burn your hands. Yeah. He says, touch not, handle not. He come along and burn up your ears. That's right. And says, stop your ears from hearing about blood. That's right. And his eyes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. His eyes were as a flame of fire. Not that they are. Were as it a is flame as. of fire. That means God is a comforter. That's right. And God is a consumer. That's right. That same spirit that gives you comfort. He come to burn up everything in you. That's right. That's contrary to his will. That's right. And That's right. What else is and it? And his feet. His feet. Like unto fine brass. That's fine brass. As if they burned in a furnace. He didn't say his feet is fine brass. And, and his feet his like feet is like unto fine brass. Now hold it. When brass is burned in the furnace, yeah. it ain't black. No. It ain't white. No. When it's burning, it's like a bright orange. That's right. Like the color of amber. That's right. Now, what is brass? Brass. Blessed be the name of God. It doesn't mean God is black. No. It don't mean God is colored. That's right. God, the scripture is talking in the hieroglyph, uh, hieroglyphic form. Right. You know, in the study of Egyptology, the Egyptians didn't have the alphabets like us. Yeah. So they left the history written in stone by using images, yeah. symbols, yeah. and pictures. Right. They call it hieroglyphics. Right. Well, the scriptures have spiritual hieroglyphics. That's right. It talks in symbols. That's right. But then you got to go to that scripture and see what that symbol represents. That's right. Now the Bible says what? And his feet like unto fine brass. His feet like the fine brass. As if they burned in a furnace. But notice the brass is pointing at the feet. That's right. And then let's get the book of Numbers if I'm correct. Now in the book of Numbers. I want to show you what brass means. That's right. You see, we just don't read this stuff. That's right. We love to dive into it. That's right. Byron, we dive into it. Yeah. And strip it apart. Why is his feet the color? As the as. color. The color. As brass. And fine brass. As if they burned in a furnace. As if they burned in a furnace. In a furnace. Uh -huh. I'm going to show you what burning represents. What feet represent, blessed be God, and what brass represent. Numbers, Listen at this. Numbers chapter 21, we'll start at verse 6. All right. And the Lord sent fiery serpents among the, the people. The Lord sent fiery serpents among the people. Fiery serpents among the people. And they bit the people, and much people of Israel died. You see, Israel was hard here. That's right. Israel was rebellious. Yeah. Right. Israel was stubborn. Right. So God sent fiery serpents to bite them, and many of them died. Therefore, the people came to Moses. The people came to Moses. And said, We have sinned, for we have spoken oh, against Moses, the Lord. We sinned. 
-hmm. We spoke against God. And against thee. And against you. Pray unto the we Lord. We spoke against God and against you. Pray unto the Lord. That he take away the serpents from us. That God take away these serpents from us. And Moses prayed for the Ma people. Moses prayed for the folk. And the Lord said unto Moses. Look at what God told Moses to do. Make thee a fiery serpent and set it up upon a pole. Make a fiery serpent. Yeah. That's right. His feet. His feet and his feet like unto fine like brass, like unto fine brass, as if they burn, as if in, they a burn in the furnace. In the furnace. And the Lord told Moses to do what? Make thee a fiery serpent. Get a make a fiery serpent. Make thee a fiery serpent and set it up upon a pole. Set it on a pole. And it shall come to pass that everyone that is bitten, what happened? When he looketh upon it, shall live. Everyone that's bitten, it will look at the seven day and live. And Moses made a serpent of brass. Moses made a serpent of brass and put it up upon a pole. And did what? And it came to pass that if a serpent had bitten any man, what happened? When he beheld the serpent of brass, he lived. You see, brass mean God is the deliverer. That's right. Or God is a healer. That's right. Amen. That's why his feet was as and his feet like unto fine like brass. Like fine brass. As if they burned in a furnace. Yes, so for you to be delivered from something, you got to be moved away from it. That's right. You have to be moved away from it. That's right. So brass means he's a deliverer, just like he was. They were told to make a brazen, a brazen serpent, serpent, a serpent out of brass, and put it on the pole and lift it up. Yes. And whoever look at the serpent mm -hmm. will be healed from the bite. Jesus come along in the book of Saint John, chapter three. Be quick. And at verse 4, says what? And as Moses lifted up, up the serpent in the wilderness, in the wilderness even so, even so must, must the Son of Man be lifted be up. Lifted up. So so just as they looked at the serpent, when Moses lifted up on the pole, the serpent represent Jesus. Yeah. Right. You see, it was a brazen, brazen serpent, serpent, letting you know God is a deliverer. And the pole represent the cross. the cross. And when they looked at the serpent, they were delivered from the bite. We were bitten when we were conceived and we inherited the sins of Adam thank God and we inherited that bite thank God of deception because Adam and Eve were deceived right. they were tricked and sin entered into the world and the venom came into every human being on the planet you know and in and, and, and the natural to get delivered from a snake bite that got venom they got to go to another state and get venom. That's right. You get venom to fight venom. That's right. Huh? That's right. Now here you had God being styled as a serpent. It's a serpent. So he can fight the serpent. That's right. Huh? That's right. He was a pay come along as a brazen serpent. Make a serpent out of brass. brass. So whoever will look at it will be delivered from the bite. Right. If you look at Jesus, yes. if you look unto God, right. if you serve him, that's right. and I thought say, God, you will be delivered that's right. from your sin. That's right. You will be delivered that's right. from the bite of the serpent. That's right. Oh, it's a God. And his feet. And his feet. Like unto fine brass. Like fine brass. As Hallelujah. if they burn as in, if the they burn in the furnace. Brass mean he's a deliverer. That's right. Brass mean he'll bring you out of what you're in. That's right. Just like Israel, if they follow those instructions yeah. and look at the brazen serpent, yeah. they'll be delivered he from lives. the bite. Yeah. Jesus said, look unto me, That's right. all the ends of the earth, for I am God, oh, yeah. and there's none else. None else. When you look unto Jesus, the author and finisher of your faith, thank God you'll be delivered. You'll be healed from the sting of sin, right. the bite of the serpent right. that runs through your veins in the form of sin. Yeah. That's why you got to repent now. That's right. God wants you to repent. repent. To get that venom out of you. That's right. You got to look unto Jesus That's right. and repent and be baptized. That's right. Every one of you. Oh, we'll take God in the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. What else did that? What else did the book of our Revelation say? And his voice. His voice. As the sound of many waters. That means he speak with authority. That's right. As the sound of many waters. Many waters. When God talks, he troubles you. Yeah. Uh -huh. And he had in his right hand seven stars. He had in his right hand what? Seven stars. He had in his right hand seven stars. Now, right hand mean power. You better give me the Old Testament quickly yes. now. Right hand mean power. Yeah. Right hand mean authority. Yeah. Right. Star in the natural. You don't see the star in daytime. Right. The star come out at night. Right. But the star at night reflect the light of the sun. That's right. And each star differ in glory or differ in appearance. That's right. Bless God the Bible say in his right hand. And I want to show you what the right hand mean. Exodus and then I'll show you what star mean. Yes. Real quick. Exodus 15 and verse 6. What is it? Thy right hand, O Lord. Thy right hand. Is become glorious. Oh in Lord, 
has become glorious. In power. You see, the right hand means power. That's right. Thy right hand, O Thy Lord. right hand, O Lord. Become what? Has dashed in pieces. Have, the I don't enemy. mean he's going around smacking things with his right hand. No. He's talking about his power. That's right. Smashes the enemy. That's right. What else? And, and in the greatness of thine excellency. And in excellency, the greatness of thine excellency. Thou hast overthrown them that rose up against thee. He did all that with his right hand. That's right. Or he did all that with his power. He did all that with his authority. That's right. Go back to Revelation now. Back in Revelation 1 and verse 16. What is it? And he had in his right hand seven stars. He had in his right hand seven messengers. Mm. Seven stars. The seven stars are the seven angels That's right. sent to the seven churches of Asia. That's right. The preacher got to be in the right hand of God. Yeah. In other words, the preacher got to have the power of God. That's right. In other words, the preacher better have the Holy Ghost. That's right. Yeah? That's right. If he don't have the Holy Ghost, he can't break down the scriptures, right? He get all confused. He get all balled up. What do you mean have the Holy Ghost? He got to have Jehovah in him. That's right. He got to have I am in him. He got to have the creator in him. He got to have the spirit of Christ in him. That's he right. got to have Alpha in him. Yeah. He got to have Omega in him. Yeah. He got to have the beginning and the ending in him. That's right. Huh? And he had in his right hand. Are you not going to take God? And his right hand. Seven stars. Seven stars. And you know the preacher got to be in God's right hand. Right hand. And when he and when he's in God's right hand, he has shined bright in the midst of darkness. That's right. Uh -huh. And he had in his right hand seven stars. Seven stars. And out of his mouth, out of his mouth, with a sharp two-edged sword. That don't mean the blade literally was coming out of his mouth. No. Two-edged sword represents his word that's right. and the power of his word. That's right. It comes from his mouth. You know that's what makes folks so upset with this message because we got a sword yes. with two edges, two edges and give you a good close shave. That's right. Isn't that what the power of the word doing in the book of Hebrews? Here? Hebrews chapter four and verse twelve. That's what. For the word of God is quick. Wait a minute. Oh yes. Come on. It do a quick job. That's right. It dismantle you fast. That's right. Break it down quick. That's right. Shut you up fast. Yeah. Hey! For the word of God is quick. <laughs> Go with take God. The word of God is quick, quick and powerful, powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. Sharper than what any listen. It's sharper than any two-edged sword. It's sharper than any what any black man can put together. That's right. It's sharper than what any white man can put together. That's right. It's sharper than what any race can put together. That's right. This the word of God is the is the language of God. That's right. The word of God is the intelligence of God. Yeah. And the word of God is the instructions of God. Yeah. And the word of God is the doctrine of God. And it's implemented from God through the prophets, through the apostles, right. to the world. That's right. Are you listening? For the word of God is quick, quick and powerful. Powerful. And sharper than any two-edged sword. And what does it do? Piercing. Wait a minute. Amen. Person got to make his way in you. <laughs> That's right. How do it come in? Piercing. Go and take God. Hallelujah. It got to make his way. It got to make an entryway. That's right. What does it do? Piercing. Go right to you. That's right. What the? How? E even to the dividing asunder of soul Wait and spirit. Wait a minute. The moment it come in you, it starts separating. That's right. It come in to divide. That's right. It come in to bring division. That's right. That's right. So I say, but God is not the other confusion. That's true. That's true. But when it come in you, he come to bring division. That's right. What do you mean? You already cooperating with the devil. So he come to bring a conflict that, that's between right. you and Satan. That's right. Yeah. Piercing even. God's word come yes. to pierce. Even to the dividing of sunder. You want to divide and sunder. Of soul and of spirit. soul and spirit. Hold up. What is soul? What is spirit? Depending upon how it's used in scripture, soul points to flesh and soul points to spirit. It's the spirit. Give me the book of Genesis. Genesis 20. chapter 2 and verse 7. That's what? And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. And then what? And breathed into his nostrils. He breathed into his nostrils. The breath of life. The breath of life or the spirit of life. And man became a living soul. That's talking about flesh. That's right. Then man became a living being. Living being. Man became a living being. That's right. When the spirit of life come in man, man become a living soul. Man become a living being. That's right. All right. Book of Estrus now. Now in the book of Estrus chapter 3. Be quick. And at verse 5. That's right. And gave us a body unto Adam. Talking about how he made man. That's right. He gave a body to Adam. Without soul. But Genesis says what? And, God and the Lord God breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. Yeah. And man became a living soul. Estrus says what? And gave us a body unto Adam without soul. You see, 
the body was from the dust. Yeah. The soul of the body or the spirit of the body was from above. That's right. That's what was breathed into him. That's right. And when the soul was breathed into man, man's body took on the title so. of the breath that came in him. That's right. That's right. That's why when you die, there's a separation yeah. of the direction where your spirit goes That's right. and where your body goes. That's right. Book of Ecclesiastes. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12 and verse 7. Be quick. Then shall the dust, when then shall the dust return to the earth as then it shall was. The soul go back to the earth where it was. And the spirit, and the spirit shall return unto God the who soul gave that was breathed into man go back to where it was. That's right. Soul meaning the total completion of man. Yeah. Go back to the book of Hebrews quick now. Mm -hmm. Back in the Hebrews chapter 4. I want to itemize this. this get Amen. back to the power of the word. Hebrews chapter 4 and verse yes. 12. Yes, listen for the, at this. For the word of we God. We believe in the New Testament. We believe all of it. Yeah. yeah. I, oh yeah, we believe all of it. That's right. Oh, every drop from, Ge from Genesis, from Genesis 1-1 one, one to Revelation 22, 21. That's right. We believe all of it. That's right. Eh? That's right. Everything we believe in. That's right. Why? God said all scriptures, all scriptures are given by given. inspiration here, of God. Here, that's why you had around the throne 24 seats, yeah. which set 24 elders clothed in white raiment. The elders represent the Old Testament yeah. and the New Testament. Yeah. 12 plus 12 is 24. Okay. You had 12 tribes of Israel, and Jesus came and chose 12 men and made them apostles. Right. Around the throne is 24, 24 seats, seats, representing the Old Testament and the New Testament. They were arrayed in white robes, letting us know the same spirit dealt with the prophets, dealt with the apostles, and they had on their head rounds of, rounds of, gold, of gold, letting you know that the prophets and the apostles was anointed by the Holy Ghost. That's right. Huh? For the word of God is quick. The word of God is quick. Glory to God. It's quick and powerful. Powerful. And sharper, sharper than any two-edged sword. Than any two-edged sword. Piercing. Hey Amen. I want to pierce you today. That's right. Huh? Piercing. I want to cause havoc in you. That's right. I want to separate the devil from you. That's right. Hey Amen. Disconnect you. Hallelujah. From the powers of hell. Piercing. Piercing. Even to the dividing the asunder dividing of soul, asunder and soul and spirit. And, spirit. and of the joints and, and of marrow. And the joints of the marrow. And is a discerner of the thoughts. Wait a minute. That's what the word does. That's right. Look into your mind. That's right. It discerns your thoughts. And the it, thoughts you try to hide. Right. And even go into what the heart planned to do oh, and yeah. didn't do. That's right. It says what? And it's a discerner of the thoughts. And what else? And intents of the heart. Uh, the intents of the heart is what you felt like doing but didn't do it yet. You just making plans. That's right. And the Holy Ghost see those plans before it's done. That's right. The Holy Ghost see what you plan to do at 25 before your mother and father meet. That's right. Huh? That's right. It's the intent of the heart. Intents of what the heart. is it? Neither is there any creature that is not manifest. What? Neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight. Any creature? Any creature. Any creature. Neither is there any creature. Any fowl of the air, fish of the sea, beast in the field, and any color of man and woman. Neither is there any, any creature. Beast. That is not any manifest creature. in his sight. It's not manifest in his sight. But all things are naked and open. Everything is open. Unto the eyes of him with in whom In other words, we... nobody can hide from God. That's right. That's, That's what right. that means. That's right. Nobody can hide from God. Nobody. Nobody. And I mean absolutely nobody. Nobody. All right, go back to where you were real quick. Back in Revelation chapter 1 and verse 16. That's what? And he had in his right hand seven stars. Seven stars represent the seven angels sent to the seven churches of Asia. And out of his mouth went a sharp two-edged sword. The two-edged sword represent the word of God cutting men and cutting women that they may be right with God. And his countenance was as the sun. It didn't say it was the sun. Was as the sun. It was as the sun. That Sh means it was bright. That's right. Strong. Yeah powerful yeah. and blinding at times and his countenance was as the sun doing what shineth in his strength yes and when i saw him when i saw them when i saw him oh, we got one here when i saw him we ain't got no them up there that's right we got him up there when i saw and him all you man-made religions that crawled from the pits of hell right. and made it to america and europe and africa and any other part of the world yes. that got more than one god you're pagans that's right you're heathens that's right you're a devil worshiper. Us. That's right. You are Satanists. Yes. Hey! And when I saw him, when I saw him, I fell at his feet as I dead. I fell at his feet. his feet. I saw him, and I dropped down at his feet. Right. And he laid his as right hand dead. upon me as dead. As dead. What do you mean? I was like a dead man. That's right. 
And what? And he laid his right hand he laid, upon he me. Laid, his power came on me. Saying unto me, fear not. Don't be afraid. I am the first and the last. I am Alpha and Omega. I am he that liveth. I am he that liveth. And was dead. And was dead. And behold, and behold I'm, I'm alive, alive forevermore. forevermore. Amen. And what? Amen. What? Amen. And the Bible said, thus saith the amen. Thus saith That means God bears witness to himself. That's right. Huh? And have the keys of hell and of death. I have the keys of hell and of death. Write the things which thou hast seen. You write it. And the things which are and the things which shall be hereafter. And what else? The mystery of the seven stars which thou sawest in thy right hand. What is it? The, the mystery what is it? of the seven stars yeah. which thou sawest in thy what right hand. What is it? And the seven golden candlesticks. Yes. The seven stars are the angels they of the seven churches. They are the angels. The, they are the angels like I told you. That's right. Be quick. And the seven candlesticks which thou sawest uh -huh. are the seven churches. They are the seven churches. All right. We thank God for the message. You out there around the world that want to blame white folk for all your sins, sin starts with Satan. That's right. Before there was any member of the human race, there's Satan, which caused black, white, brown, yellow to rebel against God. You that go to all black churches, you're just as wicked as them that go to all white synagogues. That's right. You're the synagogue of Satan. That's right. I don't care how black you are, how white you are, if you don't repent of your sins and be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Blacky, whitey, you're going to go to hell. That's right. Blacky, whitey, That's if right. you don't seek the Lord for the Holy Ghost. Blacky, whitey, speaking another tongue and the spirit of God give utterance. Blacky, whitey, blacky, and whitey is going to go to hell. That's right. All of you that serve a black God, you're pagans. Yeah. You're a heathen. That's right. And you're liars. Liars. And I'll blast your black God religion back to hell. That's right. You that serve a white God. I'll blast your white, bigot, cheap, frail religion back to hell. For all have sinned. All have sinned. Come bring Pastor Jennings, your black God. Yes. I'll beat him back to hell. That's right. Did you hear what I said? That's right. Come bring Pastor Jennings, your white God. You blind black folk that walk around black power. Mm -hmm. And you blind white folk that walk around holy Hitler salute. I beat you with the Bible with your hand this way, and I beat you with the Bible. I beat you with your hand open and with your hand closed. That's right. For all have sinned. All have sinned. Do you hear what I'm telling you? That's right. That's right. This symbol don't mean nothing. No. To God. Let every soul this be subject. This symbol don't mean nothing to God. That's right. Let every soul be subject. The Holy Book says in Romans chapter 13 and verse 1, let every soul be subject. Let every soul be subject unto the higher power. Be subject to God. For there is no power. There is no power. But of God. But of God. The powers that be. The powers that are here are ordained are of, God. of God. Whosoever, therefore, whoever resisteth the resists power. Resist God. Resisteth the ordinance of God. And they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. All right, white man, black man, wiggle out of that. <laughs> That's right. Wiggle out of that. The word of God speak plain. Let every soul be subject unto the higher power. Every soul. Black every man, soul. Every white soul. man, every wiggle soul. out of that. Let every soul be subject unto I the higher power. I say every powers. black man that don't obey God is going to hell. All of you. That's right. Every white man, blind hair, blue eyed, pale skin, to hell you going. That's right. Everybody under the sun. That's right. That don't obey God. Let every soul be subject unto the higher no, powers. No, just black folk. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. For Why? There, for there is no power but of God. Ain't no respect to person. That's right. No respect to person. Ain't no favoritism. No. No. You black folk ain't better than nobody else. <laughs> That's right. You white folk, you ain't better either. That's right. I know you've been told this. <laughs> you white folk been told this for years. Yeah. That's why many black folk looked up to you mm -hmm. because they thought you knew the Bible. Yeah. They didn't know that you was just as dumb of the Bible as anybody else. That's right. You introduced the Trinity. Yeah. Not the scriptures. That's right. 
you introduced it with more than one God, yeah. not, the not the scriptures. And because black folk was ignorant to the reality of God, yeah. they took what you said. That's right. And the black and white came into the knowledge and realized to understand the scripture, I need the Holy Ghost. That's right. When that black man yeah. and that white man yeah. both repent of their sins. That's it. Oh, it's a God is a baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Christ. Had the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. That's right. That black man will look at the white man and say, you know what? Yeah. There's one God. That's right. I bear witness. There's one God. That's right. He have no rivals. No rivals. He have no partners. That's right. We associate none with him. That's right. He is God alone. alone. God is not begotten. Right. God always was, always have been. Always will be. Always will be. Are you listening? Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. Amen. Amen. So all of you black folk that's getting caught up in your blackness, mm. all of you white folk getting caught up in your whiteness, no. you're going to find out when you die. I tell you what you do if you don't believe me. That's right. Go to the cemetery. That's right. And see, are the worms eating any different That's on right. a black body than they are a white body? That's right. You don't find the worms in the ground <laughs> saluting black corpses. No. There ain't no worm down there with no black tam on and a red, black, and green flag That's right. walking on the black body. That's right. Saluting it. That's right. It ain't no worm on a white corpse down there no. saluting it. No. White power. Oh, no. No worms is eating you. The, the, the worm shall the, feed. The, the, the crank it up. Job chapter 24 and at verse 20. That's what? The worm shall feed sweetly the on you. The worm's going to feed. Give chapter and verse again. Job chapter 24 and we're at verse 20. I want this to be good for all races that think you're something. That's right. That's right. Do you hear this? Job chapter 24 and verse 20. Says what? The womb shall forget him. Wait a minute. Where you come from will forget you. The worm shall feed. Your very womb. Your mama. Yes. The womb shall forget him. Your mama that you fell from. That's right. She going to forget about you. That's right. The womb shall say, forget him. I don't care him. how old my mama get. She'll never forget about me. Don't believe that lie. Don't believe that. You can be gone so long your mama forget about she had 10 kids. That's true. Or Alzheimer's set in. That's right. She forget about she got any kids. Any kids. God is showing you how worthless you are. That's right. Without him. That's right. Until God said. The womb shall forget him. The womb shall forget him. Right where you come from. Shall forget him. You know they call it the birth canal. Yeah. yeah. You know why they call it the birth canal? Because years ago when loggers would cut down trees, in order to get the trees downstream, they'll cut them down and take them to a canal, yes. a body of water to traffic all the logs. Yes. And then when there, and there's an opening in that canal where the logs come down and then they can bring them when they drift ashore. Yeah. That's the way a child does. Once the water breaks, it, it is already in position yeah. to go south. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. God take that wood. For God said, I'll make the people wood, the people wood. and make thy words fire, fire, and it shall devour them. So God takes the wood. Yeah. It rotates. That's why God is called a potter. That's right. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Because anyone that does pottery, when you take clay and work it on the wheel, the clay spins. But in order for the clay to get its shape, the man that's or the woman that's doing the pottery got to keep it wet. In the book that's why you find a child is formed in water. That's right. It's formed in water because clay gets the shape when it's wet. That's and right. then fire is there to keep the shape. In the book of 2nd no, Esther chapter you're 8. Talking, you're talking theology. Let's get some Bible. In the book of 2nd Esther chapter 8 and verse 8. 2nd Esther chapter 8. Chapter 8. And verse 8. Verse 8. For when the body is fashioned now in the mother's womb. Ha. Amen. When the body is fashioned now. Is formed. In the fashion. Mother, in the mother's womb. In the womb of your mother. And thou givest it members. Glory to God. God give it members. Thy creature is preserved. Thy creature is preserved. In fire. 
and water. It's preserved in fire. And water. And water. And nine months. Nine months. Doeth thy workmanship endure thy creature. Water is needed for fashion. That's right. Fire is needed to confirm it. That's you right. know, when you harden clay, you confirm its shape. That's right. So that's why in the wound of the woman, yeah. there's fire and water fire there. And water. So I say, well, Pastor Jenner, what is the fire? The fire is the power of God, the creativity of God. That's right. That that's hardens right. the shape. Yeah. And God decides whether it's a male or female. That's right. I say that to debunk the medical profession. Now the uh, LGBT QRST and the UVWs and the XYZ says the reason why they want to be called other or some kind of now because it is the doctors that decide what they are. No doctor. No doctor. Got the power. That's right. To decide whether you are a man or a woman. God decides. That's right. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. First chapter of the book of Jeremiah. Of the book of Jeremiah. And at verse 4. I don't care how sharp men become in science or studies. Yeah. You're not sharper than God. No. First chapter of the book of Jeremiah says what? Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying. And the word of the Lord come to me, saying. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. Wait. Do you hear? Before I formed thee in the belly, I Before knew thee. Before you and your mother even met. Yeah. I knew that. I already know what you was going to be. Before. That's right. Before. Before I formed the end of the What is God saying? I already had you in mind. That's right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I already know what you was going to be. That's right. I already knew your height. I knew your failures. I knew your upcoming. I knew your shortcomings. I knew the mistakes you would make. And I knew a day will come whether you would choose my law or reject my law. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. Amen. I saw you going down in water. Yes. Before you was born. That's right. I saw you with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Before you was born. That's right. I saw me being your healer. Yes. Before you was born. Before I formed I saw the you belly. praying. Before you was born. That's right. That's right. And you bragging? Bragging. About how black you are? Yes. And how white you are? Amen. You ain't nothing but a piece of miserable, worthless dust. That's it. And every black man or white man who thinks you're something without God, when God snatch your breath out your body, yes. and you be planted in the dust, and you go back to where you come from, oh, yes. you will realize later on, later on how worthless you are. That's right. A human being ain't nothing That's right. without obeying God. That's right. That's Nothing. Right. Nothing, I say. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 40 and verse 17. Hallelujah. If the only thing you got to offer me is you're black, that's all. That, that's all. That's nothing. You ain't offering me nothing but a color. That's right. The only thing you got to offer me is that's white. Right. You ain't offering me nothing. Nothing. Hallelujah. You can say, well, black is a color, and you know the historical background. I don't care. <laughs> when you talk about God, yeah. that's everything. That's everything. Everything. That's right. Hold it to God. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 17. Your mistake in self identity. Black scholars say you need self-identity. All right. White scholars say you need self-identity. Yeah. You can link yourself up to one of the tribes of Israel, if yeah. you like. Yeah, if you like. A Indian nation, if you like. If you like. The Zulu tribe. Yeah. Or the Europeans. Yeah. Or Ham, Shem, Japheth, sons of Noah. Yeah. You can go back further. Let's go back to Adam. Come on. The first African. first African. Go back to Eve, yeah. the mother of all living. That's right. But you still haven't started with self identification. Right. To truly identify yourself 
You have to go past the human race oh, yes. and go to God. That's right. Book of Genesis. Someone said, well, how can you say that? Let's see what God did when he made man, how yes. he made him. How he made him. Quickly, son. Genesis, Genesis 2, 1, 26. Genesis Begin 1, there. Genesis 1 and verse 26. Tell you what. And God said, let, God us, said, let us make man in our image. In our image. After our likeness. After our likeness. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea. And what? And over the fowl of the air and over the cattle. And what? And over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. What else? So God so created God. man. Yeah. Created man. In his own image. Wait a minute. That's where man identity starts. That's right. So God created man in his, in his own, own image. image. In the image of God. Wait a minute. In the image of Africa. In the image of God. In the image of Europe. In the image of God. In the image of India. In the image of God. You got to go back to God to get accurate identification. That's right. That's right. You may differ in bone. Yeah. You may differ in your cranium. You may differ in your ability to hold information. Yeah. But that outward stuff do not determine the makeup of man. Oh, no. You got to go all the way back. So God created man God. in his own image. And this is what you, this is over the head of the scholars. Yeah. This is over the head of the historians. That's right. This is what they don't go after. That's right. They go get PhD this, yeah. Dr. Phil, and LLD that, Mr. Cunningham, and, and oh, I don't care nothing about that trash. That's right. Right. What they learned, they got from another scholar. Yeah. And then they do more research. But who are they researching? Yeah. Other scholars. Other yeah. scholars. But God? Yeah. Who does he answer to? That's right. Who's more wiser than him? That's right. Who's more deeper than him? Yeah. The scholar said when he made the earth, the earth Hang on, turn on, axles. God said, no, I don't. No, we don't. I hang the earth on nothing. <laughs> Genesis says what? So God created man. So God. This is where your identity starts. That's right. So God created man. God created man in his own and image. And his own image. In the image of God. In the God. image of God. Created he him. So when God made man. God placed his character within man. That's right. He didn't place in man a European character. No. He didn't, man was made in Africa, and man did not have the characteristics of the African. That's right. That's right. The first man. That's right. The first man that was made. And God said. He did not have the characteristics of the African. That's right. That's because right. before there was an African, there was the characteristics of God. And God said, let us make man in our image. Let us make man in our image. Our image. After our likeness. God wants man to be like him. That's right. What do you mean? Clean. Clean. Pure. Yeah. Holy. Yeah. Upright. Upright. Disciplined. Right. Well-mannered. Yeah. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. God created man. In his own image. Oh, you scholars, you're going to the wrong place. Oh, yes. To find out what man consists of. That's right. You got to go back That's to, right. to, the, to the assembly line. Yeah. Are you listening? So God. You got to go back to the. Don't, 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 don't worry about it. Don't pay up no mind. Just, just listen. So God. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he African him. African is better than a European. European is better than an African. The Asian is better than the Hispanic. Hmm. All of you is of hell. That's right. Eh? That's right. All of you black, white, you race promoters. Come to Pastor Jen and see if I don't beat it out of you. Yeah. I point you to God. That's it. I don't point you to black. Yeah. I don't point you to white. I don't point you to no ethnic group. No. I point you to God. So God created man in his own image. Yeah. And what? So God created man in his own image. This is where your characteristics start. That's right. And that's why man fell. Yeah. Because man, when man fall, it wasn't because he met another ethnic group. No. He fell because he got entangled with another spirit. That's right. And the spirit of Satan changed man's 
character. That's it. Are you listening? That's right. The spirit of Satan tricked Eve, and after Eve was tricked, that spirit went on to mingle with Adam, and then they both was tricked by the same spirit. That's right. Eve was tricked direct by Satan. Adam was tricked indirect by Satan by being tricked through his wife. Wherefore, as by one man. But they both was tricked by the self-same spirit. That's right. One direct, one indirect. That's right. One had direct communications with the devil, the other had communication with the wife whom the devil was in. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Hear the old man now. So God created man in his own image. This is where it starts. Yes. This is where it starts. This is where it starts. You need the DNA of heaven. Hallelujah. The DNA of heaven for the true divine makeup of man. The laboratory may figure out your natural kernel DNA, and they ain't got that right at all times. Yeah. But there's a heavenly DNA. That's right. There's a spiritual DNA. That's right. That's why man has to learn what is God's character. Yeah. It's, it's bigger when it says you're made in God's image. That's bigger than a shape. Oh, yeah. A person's image is bigger than shape. A person's image is their character. That's right. But when God made Adam, notice, Adam demonstrated God's character flawlessly to the degree he named all the beasts. All the beasts. But the only one that knows all things is God. That's right. But here's a man that had God's character and was given permission to name all beasts. And Adam gave names to all cattle. He gave name to all cattle. And to the fowl of the air. Of the air. And to the beast and to beast, every beast to of every, the field. To every beast of the field. But for Adam, there was not found in help meet for him. That was Genesis 2 and verse 20. God gave him that ability. That's right. On his own, he couldn't do that. No. What did he know what to call him? That's you right. look at one animal with horns, another animal with horns. That's right. Come on. What did he know? That's right. That's right. But see, when God made him, he was standing up with the characteristics That's of right. God. That's right. That's right. That's why, yeah, that's why. The Garden of Eden bears the same title of God's kingdom. Yeah. It's called paradise. paradise. Yeah. That's right. It's called paradise. Right. Paradise. It ceased to be paradise when corruption set corruption. in. And notice what happened to heaven. When corruption set in, while it was corrupt, he had to get rid of the corruption. That's right. That's right. That's right. So to all my black brothers, white brothers, Spanish brothers, Asian brothers, Indian brothers, Russian brothers, German brothers, South Pacific brothers, yeah. across the Atlantic Ocean brothers, right. my Caribbean brothers, regardless of what ethnic group you are, you are, all of you that think your skin is more valuable and more important then another, another, that's a lie that the devil told. That's right. To get you against each other. Yeah. Do you not know you're made of one blood? One blood. Given the book of Acts of the Apostles, of the Apostles. chapter 17. Yes. Acts chapter 17. 17, chapter the book of Acts. I'm going to get that verse quickly. Acts 17 and verse 20. Real quick now, I'm on the time. And the brethren immediately sent away Paul and Silas by night. Verse 20. We're at verse 26. All right. Acts chapter 17, and we'll start at verse 24. All right. God that made the world. What? God that made the world. Uh, how many? God. G-O-D. Right, right, right back at one again. That's right. Same God that made Israel made Pastor Genesis. The That's only right. difference is I know who he is. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Amen. Same God that made Israel made me. Yeah. The only difference is he's caught up in the black, and I tell the black you're going to hell. Yeah. He believe you guess you're God people because you're black. There ain't a black man on the earth God people unless you obey him. That's right. Is that Bible? Yes. Adam died the moment he disobeyed. That's right. Represent he ceased to be of God. Yeah. 
because he disobeyed him. He bit of the fruit, he died. For God said, the day you eat thereof, you shall die. Now you may say, well, wait a minute, Pastor Jennings. Adam didn't die until 930 years later. He died a natural death at the age of 930. He died a spiritual death the moment he bit of the fruit. The fruit. Are you getting me? Immediately, he died That's a right. spiritual death. That's right. Amen. And he, was, he kept that spiritual death right until he went to the natural death of 930 years old. Are you getting what I'm telling you? That's right. Listen. Genesis 7, uh, rather Acts 17 and verse 24. Follow me. Acts chapter 17 and verse 24. What is it? God that made the world. God that made the and world. And all things therein. How many made the world? God that made the world. You that said a second person helped God. You see how the Bible strike you down? God that made the world. I remember I was debating the nation of Islam. And one of them said that a man made the world. Hmm. Some man. I asked him, who made the world? He said, a man. I said, who was he? He kept telling me, I don't have that knowledge. I don't have that knowledge. How can you talk about something if you ain't got the knowledge? That's right. If you don't know a thing, shut up about it. That's right. Pastor Jenner, you don't know how important being black is. There are two views of blackness. The view of the world and the view of God. Oh God. Okay. And when you look at God's view, yeah. it ain't like the human family. No. Black folk killing each other. White folk killing each other. Yeah. Spanish folk murdering each other. Just killing it. Yeah. Yeah white, yeah, white folk do use suntan lotion, and then some of our black folk use Botox. So ain't one better than the other. No. So you, you, I don't mind you bearing witness or saying amen or shaking your head to what I'm preaching, but you're not going to interrupt me and stay here. All right? Don't, don't interrupt me. All right, then. You be quiet, then. That, that, that Spanish folks say, callate. You do that. <laughs> All right, let's have it. Acts 17 and verse 24. What is it? God that made the world and all things therein. God that made the world and everything in it. Seeing that he is Lord of heaven and earth. He, not they. He is Lord of heaven and earth. He is Lord of heaven and earth. Dwelleth not in temples made with hands. And what? Neither is worship with men's hands as though we needed anything. What else? Seeing he giveth to all life and breath and all things. Uh -huh. And hath made of one blood. What? And hath made of one blood. What? And hath made of one blood. He made of one blood. All nations of men. No one said, wait a minute, Pastor Jennings, I told you that's wrong because you got A type, B type. You see, that scripture is over your head. Over your head. It ain't talking about blood type. That's right. It's talking about blood condition. That's right. <laughs> huh? It ain't talking about blood type. Right. It's talking about blood condition. That's right. What is that? And it's made of one blood. He made of one blood. All nations of men. For to dwell on all the face of the earth. The Bible says the life of all flesh life in the blood. So it's not talking about A type or B type or type O and, or other types that I don't know nothing about. It ain't no. talking about that. No. It's talking about condition. That's what right. is the condition of the blood? All the blood, whether it's A type, B type, O, or some other strange letter that's off the chart, the condition of the blood is this. You was born in the world with sin and shaped in iniquity. And regardless of what type you have or what condition that you may have in your blood, you have sin. Sin, that's right. That's what he mean when he said he that's made all. All nations of one blood of one blood all nations of men that's why uh, you was conceived in lust and fashioned in sin in the womb of your mother in the same transgression when it hit Adam after he fell it hit everybody, everybody else, else from that time now that's right I agree it's a type that's right B type and uh, O or P or whatever it may be whatever it may be all right but you still got one Blood. One blood. And it's sin. That's right. That's why it took the shedding of one blood. One blood. Right. We're going to take God to wash away your sins. That's right. Hey! And it's made of one blood. He made of one blood. All nations of men. For, all nations of men. For to dwell on all the face of the dwell earth. Dwell on the face of the earth. And hath determined the times before appointed. And what? And the bounds of their habitation. All right. Acts 38 says. Then Peter said unto them, repent. All right. You that are here, glory to God, you might as well come out of your false churches. Yeah. Lay down your false religion. Lay down your blackness. Lay down your whiteness and pick up God. That's right. Lay down your whiteness. Lay down your blackness. Some of you white viewers don't like me because I'm black. So you go to a white church. A, a, white, a man ain't a preacher because of his color. No. No. A man color don't make him truthful. 
You got white liars and black liars. That's right. You got brown liars and yellow liars. That's right. A man color don't make him truthful? No. 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 So when you get these people say, oh, black power, white power, you're both are of the devil. Both of the devil. Both of Both. Both is of the devil. That's right. I remember years ago, a white man called me a nigger. That didn't bother me. I asked him, I said, I'm a nigger? He said, yeah, that's right, you're a nigger. I said, okay. I said, what do nigger mean? He said, well, to me, it means someone ignorant. I said, oh, so that means you're a nigger then. I'm telling you, those little cheap titles and that name calling don't bother me. Uh -huh. You can call me a nigga all you want. This is the one preaching nigga you got to obey. Oh, yes. You're going to obey it. The word of God said. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Glory be to the Father. Amen. Repent. And be baptized. What every black man must do. Repent and be baptized. What every white man must do. Repent and be baptized. Oh, you got to do it. Repent and be baptized. Every one, one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. You got to get it in the name of Jesus Christ. For what? For the remission of sins. You get your sins washed away and what did God promise? And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Anybody Ghost. Anybody here want to get right with God and don't want to burn in hell? And want to get right according to scripture, not according to Europe and not according to Africa, That's but right. according to scripture. That's right. And be baptized the right way. Stand on your feet if you want it. Stand on your feet if you want it. Glory to God. All of you that are standing, come on to the front. Come on round. <laughs> Amen. It is good. Amen. Move quick now. It's good, I said. What a mighty God we serve. Yeah, what a mighty God we serve. Yes, angel. Heaven and earth. What a mighty. I'm glad. What a mighty. Yes, what a mighty God. Yes, angel. Heaven and earth. What a mighty. Yes, sir. Yes, what a mighty God. Hallelujah. Yes, angel. Heaven and earth.
Amen. Let us all say amen. Once again, we thank God for the word of God coming from our leader, Pastor Jennings. Today, as always, uh, we pray that the word of God meant something to you and that you take good heed to the word of God. Is that right? Uh, let us all pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we do thank you again, Lord God, for your loving kindnesses and your tender mercies, O God, that you've shown towards us. We thank you, O God, for you're the one and only true living God who has made heaven and earth and all things therein. We pray, O oh God, you continue to bless your word as it goes out over the airways, that men and women everywhere, O oh God, may take good heed to thy word. Consider their ways, O oh pray, O oh God, before it's everlastingly too late. Open their understanding, I pray, Lord God, that they may come to a full knowledge of the truth, to understand that thou art the God only that rules in the kingdom of men. Help them to realize that they must repent of their sins and be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. And seek thee, O God, for the gift of the Holy Ghost, and continue steadfastly in the faith of the apostles thereafter. O God, give us strength, I pray, continually. Don't let the devil take advantage of us, great God, but give us strength, O God, because we know, O God, that thou art the one and only true living God. O God, bless us continually. Remember our pastor, give him strength, O God, and all the ministering brethren everywhere. O God, for we know that thou art my God, the one and only true God who has made us all. Hear us at this hour, I pray, God, and give us the victory. These things we ask in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen.